this is a build project that asks the students to make something and then letting them know that they will be owning this or taking it home. It's really fascinating to me if you give students the instruction that they're making something for themselves, the kind of care and quality that they put into that build. This is a table that is constructed in several phases that comes together and is produced from one of their original projects that they started with, which was this, a simple square frame with this cross blocking that's put in the center of it. Once they build this, they set it aside, and as the program uh, continues, they assemble things around that original frame they made to produce this table. And the parts on this plan, uh, part A here, um, these parts are labeled in this set of plans. Here's part A, that's that frame. So that frame becomes sort of the bottom platform for this table. Legs, part D, get specially cut and added to the corners. And then there is a top that is constructed. The top becomes a challenge because the students, well, actually the top and the legs, these uh, angles are introduced to students now and they have to use a miter saw to cut these miter angles. And this can be a challenge, especially for a student that uh, all these tools are new to them. And up till now, square cuts, hopefully they've gotten pretty proficient at those. Here is that top piece that's put together with mitered uh, corners on all of these sides, plus a sort of a horizontal part that where the miters happen. And students get a real education in the difficulty of assembling miters. <laughs> That's always a difficult thing at first. Even the gaps for the slats for the top are uh, called out here to be equal. So this is a great problem for the students to solve while they're constructing the top surface is uh, creating these slat gaps that are equal. That's a sort of a construction problem that we're solving all of the time. Uh, what is the width of my material? What is the space it has to fit in? What's, what's the amount of space left over and how do I divide that evenly among how many different gaps? So this part E at the end is probably not necessary as far as the structure of this table to work. It is a skirt board that kind of adds a nice look to the project. And also it's a great opportunity for students to start thinking about finish, what finish work looks like and how that piece should fit into that space very tightly on all four sides to make it look good. Also, this is a version of this table that has a, an inset top or a, a recessed place in the top here. We'd, we had uh, designed a concrete paver project that would fit into this space. This table could be built uh, like this example here, flat on the top, by just inverting that, uh, that whole uh, top section and putting it upside down to create this flat surface, or you could create this uh, this recess surface as well, two options for that table. And sometimes we would have given the students the option to change one aspect of this design. It's simple enough that they could do a little modification to the leg design or whatever to suit their preference. So a great uh, project for students to kind of make personal, which definitely makes them more invested. So try this project out. I think you'll find it it's a hit with your students that they get to make something that they actually then can own. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.